Look what we got back in, guys. You might remember this might small remember X. This small X. <sighs> so if you're an OG of the vlogs, you may remember this small X. We had this back last Halloween time. <laughs> Oh wow, that was a while ago. This was a project Chrome Delete. The whole car was wrapped sand guard, as you can see. Voice Turner VFF 109 wheels, 22 is car we graphed by. This was a project that we did for Christina Brawley. I'll link her YouTube channel in the description in case you guys want to check her out. Back in today because we're gonna be doing another project on this. We're gonna be wrapping the entire thing. Wrapping entirely different color. We're also gonna be changing out the wheels. It's time for something new. Show them the color, Sean. Psychedelic? So oh, this is psychedelic. There it is. There it is. There oh, it is. Yeah. There it is. So we're gonna be wrapping the entire car of this. It's like a it's gray. Just gray. It looks gray, but then when the light hits it, <gasps> boom. Boom! Boom, 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 boom! Very nice, very nice. Off the chain, bro. You know, like, off the chain and you know, break the chain. No? Okay. So it's time for us to disassemble the badges and all the little pieces again and get to it. Do the wing in black. I kind of want it to look like it handles like, into the, the oh. window area. You sound sad. Why are you so sad? Because Too bad we can't all just be working on E92 M3s every day. <sighs> That's a dream, isn't it? Team Shermer? Team Shermer's. Have you seen Team Shermer? Uh, Team Shermer. Dude, they make the fastest okay, BMWs. So what's, what's Dude, good? Team Shermer's. Shermer, you know Team Shermer? Future boy, how do you put these seats down? <laughs> you, know, you know on the Fords, they have, they have the button on the side? This, this one doesn't have it, bro. It's right here. In the seat. The future motherfuckers, bro. <laughs> Let's come along, guys. Fully glass. What that means basically is the wrap is laying on the body lines just perfectly right. Can I touch this? No. Oh, Can I flick it? You're gonna close the pocket. You're gonna close the pocket. You're gonna close the pocket. But I think it needs to be. Why are you touching it? What the fuck are these? What the fuck are those? Are these pecans? Those are cons with frosted cream. Little double dark chocolate, Santa Cruz de oatmeal raisin. This is not a workbench, this is a lunch bench. Stay fueled, or how are you gonna finish up this car if you don't stay fueled? It looks disgusting. It looks scary, right? This is what Crunch Town looks like for sure. Holy sh! How am I gonna do this? Fuck! Right! Right, alright, alright! Outside in the AMG. Oh! In the wild! This has to be our most radical Tesla project we have done thus far. Sand Psychedelic is what we're looking at here. It's really cool, as you can see. Under the shade, in a gloomy day, it looks like this nice, clean satin gray, which is really cool, right? It's really subtle, it looks great. But in direct sunlight, oh my goodness. I'm trying to show you guys here with the flashlight. You can see this rainbow effect. It just takes over the entire surface. It's really freaking nice. What I really like about this is the fact that it's not over the top all the time. It's only crazy bright and rainbowy when 
it's a bright sunny day but otherwise gloomy days rainy days it looks really subtle which is great because some days you just may want to have a more subtle incognito car and some days you want it to shine bright like a rainbow we took apart the trims the badges things like that to get a nice clean wraparound like usual we also changed out the wheels previous four shine wheels were carbon graphite which is a great color but it would have been way too much gray so going from that to a satin black on the bricks and rf10 wheels great choice because now it works with the trim a little bit better and it just has a nice contrast from the gray but it still kind of keeps that sporty theme here are some pictures of what it looks like in direct sunlight so you guys can see what i'm talking about it's nuts in a good way it's just so much fun to look at it has such a cool vibe to it and i mean you just can't help but smile when you see it i don't know what the word is it's not like stealth in the way that we think of stealth but it's like stealth blink psychedelic it's like yeah. bam falcor brand new complete new change of clothes and shoes how do we do? 11 out of 10. 12 yes. out of 10. <laughs> so it was amazingly done last year, but it's like on steroids now how good it looks. Like it's so more subtle, you know what I mean? That looks good from this that angle. Looks sick, dude. Look on the road. Look at the presence. Look at the presence on the road. It's just because it's a unique color. Bam! Oh, that yeah. looks, look how sporty it looks. That looks cool. She dressed fast. That's why she won her car back. She dressed fast. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. That's it for the vlog. Thank you so much for watching. We want to work in your car, so hit us up. Our contact info in the description down below. I will see you next time. So Sean was saying for vinyl to conform, it's called glassing. Why don't they just call it shaping? Hey, see, that's called glassing. Hey, what, is that correct? I don't relate to that. Because <laughs> you're not in the rap dojo. Not in the rap I'm not in the rap dojo. Rap dojo. Lesson number six. I mean, how many different terms is there in vinyl rap? Just glassing. Okay, what are you doing right now with your finger? Glassing. <laughs> you don't call it the, the fingering? No, Ted. We don't call it that. <laughs> the middle fingering. Hey, why your middle finger? Why not your pointer finger? Because the middle finger have the most power. Oh. I, I Don't thumb your vinyl, middle finger it.